I loved Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal's uh, The Accountant. I love that movie. I thought it was terrific. It was such a different kind of movie with such a different kind of protagonist. And just like they just did things in that. It's in the shell of a just a stereotypical classic kind of baddest man walking around taking people out kind of movie, but filled with the guts of some very, very unique stuff. Anna Kendrick was really great in it too. I adore Anna Kendrick. Can I just say it? She's I should, wonderful. I, should, I just want to say that every time. I adore Anna Kendrick. Um <laughs> Quick Anna Kendrick story. She was doing The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. And they did... Behind during, the scenes. During one of the breaks, they just uh, asked the audience some questions. And one a lady in the audience says, Anna, so um, you're on my boyfriend's hall pass list. <laughs> and Anna Kendrick like handles it like a pro. She goes, really? She's like, Hello. And then she goes, and then she turns to the girl, am I on your list? <laughs> and then anyway, she's she's just, um, she's hilarious. She's so quick. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all that being said, I have wanted a long time for them to make another account. It ends perfectly. It, it could be a perfect sort of franchise. The one little, little tiny problem was I think the thing made like $150 million. Mm -hmm. This is just a tiny little problem of it not making any money, which is too bad because I don't know what people's problem with. This movie was really good. It was really enjoyable. I had a real blast with it. Well, then for years, years and years and years, they were saying, you know what? It did real good on home video and maybe they'll do it and maybe they'll do it. And for year after year after year, maybe they'll do it. And then a little while ago, we heard some definitive movement that actually there are some people saying the studios ordered it to go into development. Well, now, according to Deadline, it's locked. And almost everybody, except Anna Kendrick, seems to be returning when Deadline writes this. Exclusive Ben Affleck, John Bernthal, J.K. Simmons, and Cynthia Adai Robinson have locked deals to return for The Accountant 2, the sequel to Gavin O'Connor-directed action thriller The Accountant, on which Amazon MGM Studios has teamed with Affleck and Matt Damon's uh, Artists' Equity. Uh, also set to return is the original director, Gavin O'Connor, who directs from a script penned by the original film screenwriter, uh, Ben Dubik. Now, it goes on to talk about how grossing 155 million worldwide in its 2016 release before going on to become the most rented digital film of the subsequent year. Hmm. So, I mean, look, that doesn't replace not doing well theatrically, mm -hmm. but it, you know, buoys it up a bit. It was only a $44 million budget. So they can yeah. keep that low. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It was, they did it on the cheap. I'm sure the next one probably be a little bit more, but I love this because when they're talking about kind of green lighting the development of it, I thought, uh, I, I, I really want, I mean, Ben Affleck's the star, but I really, I love the dynamic with his brother, with John Bernthal. I really hope he comes back. And now they're saying that JK's back, John Bernthal's back. I am so excited for this. I do wonder though, with all of the controversy going on with Roadhouse, if Amazon MGM is going to make this what it should be, which is a theatrical release. I hope so. Uh, or if it's going to be a straight to Amazon thing. Well, everybody will forget that it's coming out and nobody will watch it, but... Uh, anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to let that worry take away my pure joy right now. I am so stoked. For years, I've been wanting to say Ben Affleck, John Bernthal, Jake, they're all coming back for an accountant too. I'm very excited about this. Chris, first of all, I've never even asked. Did you ever even see the original accountant? I did. I'm not as big of a fan of it as you are. Oh, I love it so much. I think it's, it, I watched it and went, oh, this is a good movie. And then I went about my day. And so I was... <laughs> and then I went about my day. That should be the name of your autobiography. <laughs> and then I, and went, then I went about, about my, my day. day. Pretty much everything. <laughs> Just, oh, it's fine. Uh, I don't really have hard opinions, I feel. But it's not the greatest forum for me. The internet gets mad when I'm like not angry about something or in love with something. Um, but it was a well-made movie and I really like this cast. The cast is fantastic. And having them all come back is wonderful. This guy in particular. I love John Bernthal. I think he is wonderful. He has this amazing ability. Um, for me, the anti Jared Leto, where he shows up for 15 minutes in something and I go, No, more of him. I want more of this guy. <laughs> so I love him. I want him to be in everything. And he's just a wonderful, dynamic actor. If you haven't watched his hot ones, oh my gosh, it's one of the best interviews that Sean's done. It's so, so good and so fun. Um, and he is a very, very incredible actor who has some amazing training and you can learn a lot from it. Um, I'm still just confused about why this is happening so late. Yeah. You know, 
This is eight. You were eight years on since the yeah. first one. Yeah, I just I didn't realize that the people were crying out for the accountant. That that would be me. Just <laughs> that would good. just be me crying about well it done. for seven years. I'm yeah. glad you got this greenlit, man. <laughs> this is really exciting for you. But uh, honestly, it all comes down to, is it going to be another excellent film? Are they going to kind of yes and what they did? Um, and and will it have that theatrical release? Because I think with this kind of star power too, just dropping it on streaming. We want to take a second and thank a sponsor of today's video, Factor. You know guys, some days it's great to prepare your own meal, but some days it's great to have wonderful, delicious meals already ready to go. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals makes eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. So what are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. They've got snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And guys, you get to save. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So guys, head to factormeals.com slash Campia50 and use the code Campia50 to get 50% off. That's code Campia50 at factormeals.com slash Campia50 to get 50% off. Such a waste. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm very happy today. <laughs> yeah. I'm there. The account accountant to, to revenge, revenge the, the IRS. <laughs> I revenge the IRS. Uh, guys, question is for you. Are <laughs> you as excited as I am for the accountant too? Or are you like Chris, where you just went on with your day? <laughs> Whatever you think about this, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.